Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to be talking about log functions or logarithms. Before we get into that though, I'm actually going to explain what are logarithms because we haven't even learned what are logarithms just yet. So let's do that. Okay. So basically logarithms are a different way of writing exponents, but everything that's expressed as an exponent can also be expressed as a logarithm and everything that's expressed as a logarithm can also be expressed as an exponential function. You know, in the past, you may have gotten a question that looks like this, uh, two to the power of X equals 3.177 or, you know, or something like this. And you know, how do we solve for X? Well, the only way, unless you've already learned logarithms, that you would know to solve it so far is just do trial and error to think, okay, well, it's got to be greater than one and less than, you know, less than two. So let's try 1.5. Okay, that's not quite right. Let's try 1.7. Not quite right. You know, we do trial and error to solve for something like this. However, with logarithms, there's actually a way to directly solve this and not have to use trial and error. However, up until this point, using trial and error is a perfectly valid method, but not only that, it's the only possible way that we can do this unless we've learned logarithms. So we're going to learn logarithms today. Okay, so we know that 10 to the power of 1 equals 10. Very straightforward. Let's write this in logarithm form. Uh, log with a base 10 to the power of 1 equals 10. These two things are equivalent. These are the same statement, just written in two different forms. This is exponential, and this is logarithmic form, but they mean the same thing. Or more generally, we could say that when we have a to the power of b is equal to c, that's the same as log with our base a to the power of b equals c, like this, okay? So long story short, this is how we'll do it. And something else I should mention is let's say you see just log and then some number, so log 5, for example. What this means is there's an invisible base 10 with this logarithm. So whenever there isn't a base, we assume base 10. If there is a base, then we, we assume that base that it, that it says. Okay, let's do some other examples uh, with logarithms and see how we can relate them to exponentials. It's one of those things that's it's maybe seemed tricky at first, but once we get there, once we get to where we need to go, it won't be so bad. Okay. So let's continue. Let's try. What if we have log with a base 5, 25 equals? It might be like, oh, I have no idea. Well, what this question is asking is 5 to the power of what is 25? Oh, well, that's simple. 2, right? 5 squared is 25. So the answer is 2. What about this? Log with a base 10. 1. Okay, 10 to the power of what equals 1? Ah, 10 to the power of 0 equals 1. So the answer is 0 here. Okay, or what about this? Log with a base 4, 64. Okay, well, 4 to the power of what is 64? Ah, 4 to the power of 3. That's 64. Ha ha. So it's 3. Right? So we can relate these pretty easily to very simple things we'd know. If you were asked, you know, 5 to the power of x is 25, you'd say, oh, of course x is 2, right? It'd be very quick. Whereas sometimes the logarithm uh, logarithms at first throw people off a little bit, but it really is just the same thing as exponents when it comes down to it, right? All of these can be written out in exponent form very easily. And so exponentials and logarithms are really the same. Uh, when we do graphing, they, we'll see how they're inverses of each other, but for now, think of them as everything we can write in logarithmic form, we can write in exponential, and vice versa. They are the same thing, just a different way of writing it. Because when we're doing logarithms, typically we're trying, you know, the answer when we're finding a logarithm is the power, whereas with an exponential, the answer is, well, the answer, right? So here, for example, answer was 1, which is just, you know, our answer. Here, our answer was 0 because the answer was actually the, the same as the exponent, right? So this here, these zeros are the same, these ones are the same, and these tens are the same, to give, to give an example there. 
Okay. All right. So that's the basics of logarithms and how they work. Uh, so let's talk about how we can figure out some of these questions. Okay. And as we go along with this, I know it says homework. We're, we're going to do it as classwork. This is actually classwork, not homework. Classwork. There we go. All better. Uh, we're going to learn how to use a calculator, and as we kind of go along, I'm going to explain how can we do these, okay? So here it says solve the following equations using the log function. So first we have to change this into the log function. So for example, for this one, log with a base 4 to the power of x is 320. So we know that log 300, uh, with a base 4, 320, is equal to x. But how do we solve this? You know, before it was simple. It might be 64 and we'd say, oh, it's 3, or it might be, you know, it was something simple before. And that brings us to actually another logarithm rule that I want to share right now. Another logarithm rule is that when we have log um, a, b uh, equals to c, let's say, this is equal to log b over log a, both with bases of 10, right? Because when we just have log, it's automatically assumed base 10. So this is equal to this, and this is how we will put this in our calculator. And given that, we can also argue that log 320 over log 4 is equal to x, and we can punch that into our calculator in order to get the answer there. Okay, so let's do that. Let's see. Well, what is log of 320? Let's grab a calculator and figure it out. Okay, so that's about 2.505. And what's log 4? 0 0.602. Okay, so 2.505 divided by... 0 0.602 is equal to 4.16 approximately for this one. I wish they gave us more room. I, I feel that there's not really enough room here to, to do these. But but anyways, that's going to be our, our answer for this one. I'm actually going to copy these onto a separate paper and we'll, we'll do them uh, as well. There's only three more of them, so I might as well go through all of them uh, with you. So I'm not going to skip any or anything. Uh, however, I do encourage you to pause and give these a try yourself before I do answer them. All right, so let's talk about the second one, which is 7 to the power of x is 1,200. Okay. So let's do it. Uh, log, oh, log with a base 7, 1, 200, equals to x. Our second step should be that x equals log 1,200 over log... 7. So x is equal to, well, let's see, let's punch it in the calculator. So that's 3.079, which makes sense because we expected log of 1,200 to be slightly greater than 3, right? Because log 1,000 or 10 to the power of what is 1,000 would be exactly 3. So we expect this to be a little bit greater because in the grand scheme of things, uh, 200 is not that much when it comes to exponents. We think that the next exponent to get to 4 would be 10,000, right? So 1,200 is a lot closer to 1,000 than it is to 10,000 if, if we think of it that way. So uh, we're expecting it to be very close to 3, but a little greater than 3. Okay, and anyway, log with a 7. Let's see, we're expecting that between to be between 0 and 1, but perhaps a bit closer to 1. So that's 0 0.845. So the answer is, uh, let's see, 3.079 divided by 0. 845 is 3.64. Also, you can also just type in log 1200 divided by log 7 and directly get the answer. Uh, but I do like, I, I'm going to do it this way just, just so we can kind of see and get more of an intuition for these logarithms of, oh yes, that's the number we, we kind of expected. We expect it to be between this number and this number, just based on knowing that uh, 10 to the 0 is 1, and 10 to the power of 1 is 10, and 10 to the power of 2 is 100, and, and so on, right? We can kind of, we, we, we kind of know what we're expecting approximately. And if we get something that's way off that doesn't make any sense to us, we may want to reconsider.
because it doesn't make sense for log 1,200 to be, you know, 10, you know, 10,000 or something. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Okay, uh, so that's B. Let's do C next. Okay, so first things first is we have to do log with a base 1.7. 32 is equal to x, so therefore x is equal to log 32 over log 1.7. Okay, so log 32, 1.505 over log 1.7 is 0 0.23. Okay, so what's the answer there? 1.505 divided by 0 0.23. 6.54 is our answer. Oh, and we can also check. We could do 1.7 to the power of to the power of 6.54, and that was rounded, so it won't be exactly 32, but it, you know it should be around 32. And I'm getting 32.14, so that's good. And that's the other thing with all of these. You can kind of check them by. Um, by plugging, you know, in the x value for x, and it's very fast, and you should get approximately the right answer there. Now, it won't be exact because, it, you know, we're, we're rounding, obviously, but it should be very, very, very extremely close. Good. All right, let's do D. Uh, actually, I'm going to erase this first one so we can do D over here. Uh, D. So same, same deal. And uh, if you haven't paused already and tried some for yourself, Right now, I encourage you to do that, please. Okay, so log with the base 8, 15870 is equal to x. Therefore, x is equal to log 15870 over log 8. Okay. Divide by. 4.2 over, let's see, what's log 8.9? Okay, so 4.67 approximately. Very good. Sounds about right, but let's try it. What is 8 to the power of 4.67? Uh, let's see. Actually, that estimate's a bit further off. Let's do 666667. Uh, that'll give us a better estimate. 8 to the power of 4.666667. Okay, yeah, we're getting closer there. All right. Okay, very good. All right, so let's try, um, let's try these. Oh, and I guess there's answers here. I can double check. Yeah, well, I guess we rounded a bit differently than they did, but same same type of thing. Okay, awesome. All right, let's try uh, A, B, C, and D for this section. Now, this section's a bit different, and I actually I don't know that we'll have enough room, so I'm going to move this onto a different sheet of paper. There we go. Oh, that's a bit big. Oh, well, that's good size. Excellent. Okay, so let's talk about these ones next. So these ones are going to be very similar to the previous ones, but you'll notice that instead of just 2 to the power of x or 3 to the power of x, it has x minus 2, x plus 5, x minus 8, and x minus 1. So there is a slight difference here. In this case, we're going to have log with a base 3, for example to the power of x minus 2, 1, 3, 5, 0, like that. So here we're basically, we're going to use the same method as before, but at the end we're going to have to add 2 to both sides to isolate x. So very similar method as before, so no worries there. Okay. So then we have x minus 2 must equal to log 1, 3, 5, 0 over log 3. So x minus 2 must equal 2, 1, 3, 5, 0, logarithm with the base 10, 3.13, and logarithm of 3, 0 0.477. Okay, so 3.13 
divide by 0 0.477 is 6.562. There we go. And then we're going to add 2 to both sides and get that x equals 8.562. And there's our answer. Is that what they got? Uh, they got 0.5. Six. Oh, they just didn't bother to would include the two. They rounded it off. But same thing. That's that's good news. Uh, okay. All right. So again, I mean, there's only three more questions here. So I will go through all of them. It'd be silly not to. Uh, but I encourage you to pause here and try B, C, and D for yourself. And then come on back when you think you've got it. Or if you're really stumped, then come on back as well. Uh, okay. Let's try this one. Uh, B. Let's try B. Okay, so log with the base 4, the x 20,000 equals to x plus 5. So therefore, x plus 5 is equal to log 20,000 over log 4. Four point three over zero point six so therefore X would be two point one six six seven. Okay, and is that what they got? Two point one seven. Yep, they just rounded to two decimal places and I rounded to four. All right, very good. Very, very good. All right, let's do C. C is log with our base 2. 45020 equals x minus 8. All right, so same steps as before. I know these are very predictable, very repetitive, but that is okay. You know, that is, that is what we want. Uh, x minus 8 is equal to log 45020 over log... Two, okay. So let's figure out that one. So four five o o two o logarithm. Okay. So x minus eight four point six five three over log two point three. Okay. So that's four point six. 5, 3, divide by 0.3, uh, then plus 8. So x would be 23.51. Good. All right, and just one more, and then I promise we are done for today with the logarithms. But I hope you learned a lot because this is a new topic, I think, for a lot of grade 11. Okay, for this one, we have log with our base 6. 7,500 equals x minus 1. Okay, so therefore, oh, therefore x minus 1 equals 2 log 7,500 over log 6. Therefore, x minus 1 equals, let's plug that in the calculator, 7,500 log zero point seven seven eight so that's equal to five point nine eight and let's see what what did they think it was yep five point nine eight awesome all right. Well, that is uh, that is everything. Very, very good. So that's the basics. We learned we did a lot today. We learned the basics on logarithms and we learned how to solve some basic logarithmic equations, which is very good. This is good because then in the future, when we get into some work problems, we'll be able to figure out uh, whether we're looking for the exponent, whether we're looking for something that's not an exponent. We will know how to directly solve it rather than just being thought to think, oh, well, what we have to do now is just trial and error. Well, now we don't have to do trial and error anymore. We can actually directly go in there and solve, which is so much better. All right, well, that's everything for today. Bye-bye.